nianza kwa tubo nje kaenda kwa chicho sasa mimi nikaambia sasa nitafanya nini mamangu akaniambia kuna kurudi hospitali pesa tutatafuta mwenye ana pena ya kienyeji na kweli nilitumia ye ya kienyeji lakini haikusaidia hata na pesa imeisha tena anusaidia hata nipate pesa watoto wangu wasome mimi nipone Mwanjina, Mwurin Chakiri, Tatoka na Kuru County, Mimi na Mwatoto, Mbariki na Wasila na Watatu, Na Mwoja kuna Spirisi kwa Mwja Iki, Na Uya Anasoma, Mwengine wa Uya Wasomi, Na Wote ni Wasichana. Baba yao, Amifungwa, Kwendi kutoka wa. 2012 alikuwa amefanya repi sisi tulisaliwa sisi tuko kumi nyumbani kwa sijana wa sita na kijana wa nne lakini mmoja ametuacha na huko maisha ni ngumu sana hata siwezi chua hata fikiri nitasema kwanza mimi nipa mimi nisa mtoto wangu nikuko nikiwa nyumbani tuo six ndio hapo sasa nikaacha shule nikaacha klasi ndio pesa tena ilipotea sasa mimi nikakaa mimi sikujua nimeshikwa na nini mimi nikakaa na mangu akanipigia kelele mimi nikataka kwenda kuchinyonga sasa akanipataza kamba kidogo mimi nikakaa tuo 7 Uwe sasa sasa huyu baba watoto sasa alikuwa na tena mjomba wake huko Mwanza sasa alikuwa amekusha huko tukaongea kweli tukakubaliana huyo sasa akaniambia kuliko ukaa nyumbani na shida si nyote wende kwa sasa nikaambia ni sawa mimi sikataa sasa tukapanga siku ya kwenda sasa kwa kaka kweli tukakaa kweli siku yenye tungeenda sasa mamangu akachoa ninataka kuenda sasa siku hiyo si kuenda mimi nikakaa siku mbili tatu hivi nikachukua nguo yangu sasa kwa wewe bibi wa kijana wetu nikaambia uniweke alafu akikucha ombe nguo aende naye kwanza kakaa kweli akakucha akachukua hiyo nguo sasa kidogo kidogo usiku ilikuwa saa tatu Nilikuwa tumelala mimi nikaamka na kuenda. Jua alikuwa amenipea simu yake. Ndio alipigia naye. Ndio tukaamua sasa tukaenda huko. Tukaenda sasa Transmara. Mimi nimeolewa sasa. Nilikuwa ninasema tena nitaenda hata kama hataki niende mimi nitaenda juu. Hakuna acha nikae na shida tena. Niende niende nikae peke yangu. Sasa huko tulienda tukakaa tena kidogo. Kundu si wangu kuna alikuwa mwisi. Alikuwa anapenda kuipa fetu ya nyongombe, kuipa maingi. Sasa hapo mimi sikuwa ninachua. Jo tulikuwa tunalala, mimi nastokea yuko. Ameenda. Na hii kazi ya kwenda kufungua tu manyumba sawa. Juu nilikuwa na lala kustokea usiku ngua iko yeye alikuwa anafaa nitoka nenda uchi tena huko. Juu hata kuna siku nyingine hata mama mwingine alikuja kunipigia kelele sana mzee wako anakuja kufungua nyumba yangu. Sasa hapo mimi nikaambia mimi sijui juu tulikuwa tunalala yeye akaanguka akaenda mimi sijui. Tukanipigia kelele sana sana juu mimi nikaambia sasa unanipigia kelele badala ya kupigia yeye kelele. Tumi nikaambia mimi sijui sasa. Mwaka huo 2010 sisi tulilala sasa pa ya usiku akaondoka. Nikaambia unaenda wapi usiku juu aliamka na anaenda pila nguo anaenda mchi. Sasa mimi nikaambia unaenda wapi bila nguo? Alienda kwanza na akarudi akufunga nyumba. Akakucha tena akaenda. Sasa nikaambia unaenda wapi tena? 
Ukaniambia kwani unataka uchwe mahali ninaendanga? Mimi nikanyamaza. Mimi nika, si kulala hata mimi nikakaa huyu anaenda wapi? Kidogo kidogo tunasikia nduru sasa ndio hiyo. Ndio tukaenda sasa. Tukaenda kwenye mbaka mbaka hapo tukaenda kuuliza ni nini ba hiyo msichana akasema mimi Uh, sasa wachonga wa msichana akasema ni sisi tulifuata mpaka tukaona akiingia ndani ya hii nyumba sasa ndio sasa hapo akachakwa sasa akaitwa askari sasa wakakucha akakamata yeye baadaye wakapelekwa hospitali akapimwa msi wangu kuna virusi vya HIV lakini msichana kupatikana naye nikaambia sasa kama mimi ningechua tu nakucha kunifanyia hivi mimi singekucha akaniambia usicharipu tena kuniambia sipo nitakuua siku moja kama nijue vile nitafanya sasa hapo mimi nikanyamasa tu siku mwambia kitu sasa baada ya kujua sasa mse wangu akona ya HIV mimi siku stuka tu ningestuka mimi ningekuwa nimeenda kitambo sasa nikasema sasa kama kama ni hivyo sasa ako hivyo bia mimi nachua niko hivyo hata mimi niko na HIV sasa hapo mimi si kustuka mimi nikakaa tu lakini sasa mama, mama yake sasa alipojua niko na hiyo ugonjwa ndio akanikataa sasa ndio anaanza sasa kunirudia ati ni mimi nilileta hiyo ugonjwa na mimi sichui ndio nilikuwa naambia sasa si tulikuwa tunaenda kiparua na wewe mpaka chioni sasa mimi naenda wapi na tuko na wewe na nimeambia huyu kichana wako atuende tujipime anakata na mimi nilikuwa naenda kujipime bado sikuwa nayo na hiyo ugonjwa sicho hata ilinishika siko gani na ilikuwa tarehe nilikuwa nafikiria hiyo itaisha juu nilikuwa nasikia sasa watu wanasema kuna dawa sasa hii dawa ukimesa hii dawa ni ugonjwa itaisha sasa mimi nimeendelea kumesa dawa, kumesa dawa na tena ugonjwa aishi. Sasa hiyo kesi iliendelea. Iliendelea. Alienda huko kwanza akagonjeka huko. Joa huko amechukua dawa. Akaenda akagonjeka akagonjeka mama aka akasema tupeane mind Jo sasa wale watu wamesema wanataka pesa ndio wakuche nyumbani alikuwa anataka 3000 Sasa maindi yangu yote nilikuwa nimepanda ikauswa yote nyumba yangu shamba yangu ikafungolewa yote sasa hapo sikuwa na mali ya kulima Akaenda akatoa sasa mtoto wake sasa 2012 Ya karudi sasa nyumbani kakucha tukakaka tukiwa hata tunaenda shamba jua alikuwa anaenda shamba tunaenda kupalilia ah akarudi kesi sasa wiki ya kwanza akaenda akarudi wiki ya pili tena akaenda akarudi tena wiki ya tatu sasa akaenda ndio aka, akaenda kabisa kurudi sasa hapo sasa nilikuwa nimepata mimba sasa. Mm. Eh mtoto wa tatu sasa. Sasa tukakaa kidogo. Nilikuwa mwezi wa mwezi wa tano. Akanipigia simu. Nimesikia uko na mimba na mimi sije sasa hii mtoto ni wa nani. Sasa aliniambia tu hivyo sasa mimi nikaambia ni nani amekuambia niko na mimba sio yako. Akaniambia tu ninapigiwa simu na watu sasa mimi nikaambia sasa mimi sichui sasa maneno ya watu na huyu mtoto tena ukikucha utambata mtoto wako hakuna mahali mimi nitampeleka kaniambia kama watu atuishi fanana na huyu mtoto nitamuua nikaambia sawa ukifika utakucha kumuona sasa hapo mimi nilichifungua nyumbani lakini sikununuliwa mtu sikununulia hata mtoto nguo hata Jo hapo sasa si kuwa na pesa. Sina hata chakula ya kukula. Sasa mtoto wangu alikuwa na pesa moja. Alikuwa na nguo moja tu ya ndani. Pesa hiyo tu ndio alikuwa na. Hata wakati nilichukua clinic ndio nilikuwa nimefanisha hiyo. Si kuwa na pesa ya kununua nayo. Nilikuwa naomba tu huyu kichana wetu 
alifanisaidia na pesa kama ako na mimi kananiwekea tu mia naenda kununua chakula sikuwa ninachoa hata hata sikuchukua hata kilini kwanza sikuenda kilini nikiwa na mimi mimi nilikaa tu nikakaa tu chusikuwa na pesa ya kwenda nayo siku nilijifungua nikachifungua nyumbani na tena sikupeleka kilini kwanza mimi nilikaa karibu mwezi mmoja ndio nitakuwa kilini sasa hapo mimi nikaenda kupigiwa kelele chumi nilipimwa niko na virusi vya ukimwi nikapimwa mtoto ako naye tena mtoto akagonjeka siku hiyo mpaka nikapeleka kinguri hospitali akaenda akafungwa huko tulikaa huko mwezi mwezi tatu ndio tukatoka sasa na mtoto wangu sasa hapo mimi nikakaa Mama yake sasa akanifukuza mimi nikaenda kwetu sasa. Mimi nikaenda nyumbani 2012. Ilikuwa tarehe moja. Januari. Ju mtoto wangu niliza tarehe tatuwa mwezi wa 11. Mimi nikaenda nyumbani nikakati 2018. Sasa mama yangu sasa alinisaka niambia umesahau kwako ni wapi? Sasa nikaambia nitaenda acha huko na mko nimeambiwa nimefunga mtoto wa mwenye akaniambia weenda tu. Nikashika tena watoto wangu mimi nikaenda. Nilianza nilirudi 2018 nilikuwa mwezi wa 12. Mimi nilirudi huko nikaenda nikakula Christmas. Nikakaa January mwezi wa 2, mwezi wa 3, mwezi wa 4, 2019 ndia kaanza tena sasa akaniambia tena mtoto wangu achatoka achatoka jela na we unataka nini hapa mimi nikakaa sasa nikaacha sasa mtoto wangu mkubwa sasa mimi nikawaacha sasa kwa anti yake huko mimi nikaenda kwetu na wawili ndio tuko huko sasa na watoto wangu wawili huko na Kuro County mwingine wa Transmara. Mkupo wako Transmara na wengine wako hapa. Sasa huyu mkupo wa Sumi anakaa kwa anti yake anti yake anatengeneza pombe. Sasa ni yeye ndiye analetea macho. Na hata huyu sinipia shule. Tangu nitoke huko achaenda shule. Sasa ananiambia sasa hakuna pesa ya kwenda shule. Sasa mimi nitaambia nitakupea nini sasa na mimi niko mkunja sasa mimi natafuta hospitali ama ya shule nikaambia wewe kaa tu nyumbani huyo sasa akikupalia akulipie shule akulipie Sasa sasa kwa nyumbani anakaa tu akileta maji ya pumba Wakati mse wangu kesi ilipoisha sasa hapo akafungwa sasa na alifungwa miaka ishirini anakaa tu kwa ananipigia simu sana nipigia alikuwa kuna wakati alikuwa ananipigia simu wewe unaenda tu na tanga tanga na hapo mimi nilikuwa mgonjwa sasa mimi naambia sasa nina tanga tanga nikifanya nini wakati nilikuwa nimechoa niko na HIV mimi nilianza kutumia dawa nilianza kutumia dawa kutaka 2015 2016, 2017, 2018 wakati nile 2019 nikatoka huko tena nika, nikafika kwetu mauche na kuru kaunti ndio hapo tena nikawacha dawa chu nilikuwa naogopa wasasi wangu nilikuwa naogopa mama yangu tena akijua niko na virusi vya HIV tena sijui sasa kama ataniua leo ama atanifanyia nini sasa hapo tena mimi nikawacha dawa mimi nikawaacha dawa nikakaa tena nikaenda kwa sista yangu nikaambia mimi nitafanya nini mimi nimeacha dawa na tena mtoto wangu ameanza kupata finonda sasa akaniambia sasa shida ni nini nikaambia twende unyombe hospitali akaniambia kwa hapa parua sasa nitaonyesha nikaambia mimi nitotoka kwangu na si kuleta hata parua hata sasa huyo sasa yangu akaniambia mimi naogopa kwenda tutaenda kupigiwa kelele. 
chusikuwa nasikia uchungu wapu misi kuenda hospitali hati 2021 mwisi wapili. Ndiyo nikaenda sasa hospitali. Nikaenda mali naituwa kuranguri. Mali ninaletanga dawa ya virusi sasa. Daktari ya huko akaenda, akaona sasa, akapiga picha, akaweka whatsapp, akamwekea daktari mwenye kwa kilgoris. Sasa u daktari akambia apana, taende tenweka. Sasa hapu mi nikakani, kambiwa tu, umesikia uende tenweka, kuenda tafuta pesa, kuche uende tenweka. Mi nikaka kweli, mwese uo wapili nikaenda tenwe kilikuwa tari 27 na 25. Mi nikaenda hospitali tenwe. Nikaenda, nikapimwa. Na nikambiwa niruti mbani. Hati tari kumi mwezi wa tatu. 2021. Tapo mi nikaruti tena siku hiyo. Mi nikaenda, nikambiwa results yenye imetoka. Kuna kitu inataka kukua kanza kwa nyumba ya mtoto. Sasa haka niambia, sasa mi nikamulisa. Sasa mi sisi nishida yoyoto kwa tungo ni chicho tu nilikuwa na kucha. Haka niambia, nianza kwa tungo ni jikaenda kwa chicho. Sasa mi nikambia, sasa nitafanya nina. Uyo daktari haka niambia, kuna tawa. Kenye itachoma hiyo kitu hiko kwa tumbo, ama nyumba ya mtoto itolewe. Mi nikambia sinieri pasi to ichomwa. Haka niambia wacha niulise daktari mkupwa. Haka enda haka muongea na msungu mungina. Na haka ruti haka niambia u daktari ya mesema apana. Hiyo kitu ikichomwa, tena itaansa kukua. Haka niambia, nieri itolewe. Sasa mi nikambia, nitafanya nini sasa? Haka niambia ukuna pesa sae. Nikambia apana sena pesa. Haka niulisa ukuna kadia ni chaef. Nikambia apana. Sasa haka niambia we enda. Enda tafuta pesa. Ama kadia ni chaef. Halikuwa nataka wanfifu tasa ndi unyumbaya mtoto sasa itoleo. Sasa mi nikambia, sina haka niambia enda tafuta yu pesa na mwesi tatu isiishe. Chuu yu kitu yu kukua tumbo itaendelea kukua. Sasa nikambia sawa. Mi nikaruti nyumbana. Nikakucha sasa nikapigia mama angu simu, nimeambiwa, nitafute pesa ama kadiane chaye. Haka niambia kama ni kansa, sasa hiyo haitaki kisu. Wee kucha nyumbani, tutafte ya kienyeche. Mi nikaka, nikaka tena. Mwese watano sasa, tare 28. Nikaenda longisa. Sasa nikafika longisa, daktari wa huko haka niandikia parua, niruti tena tenwe, haenda kate nya makidogo kwa chicho, enye itapimwa ichulikane kama nikana sakwele. Sasa hapo misi kupata pesa ya kurudi tenwe tena. Mi nikaenda, nikaompa gari, nikaenda nyumbani. Ndiyo sasa nikufika nyumbani, tukaenda tukafanya mchango. Tukachanga yu pesa, tukachanga 47,000. Sasa yu pesa, Mamangu waka niyambe hakuna kurudi hospitali pesa tutatafta mwenye anapeana ya kienyeche. Na kuile nilitumia ye ya kienyeche, lakini ya hiku zaidi ya hata. Na pesa imeisha tena. Na shukuru mungu. Na ninaomba kapesa hakuna siku misi umbi. Naomba mungu na nilinde kapesa tupe chakula. Tukule, tukaa na kurana wa toto wangu. Na shukuru mungu kapeza. Nilikuwa naomba mungu. Mungu nitafanya nini nipone na nilikuwa msuri. Nilikuwa naona kama watu. Siku hata ziku lala kapeza. Mi niliomba mungu kapeza. 
na naendelea tena kuomba Mungu anisaidie. Tena zaidi hata kwa chakula, anisaidie hata nipate pesa watoto wangu wasome, mimi nipone. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this conversation and story from Maureen. And you know, I've, I don't usually do this, but I felt it's important for me to really come out and uh, mention a few things even uh, at the end of this uh, story that Maureen has been able to share with you. For me, it's uh, when I was listening to this story, my heart was really heavy uh, asking myself, what difference I can make uh, or, or what role I can play to just make her life a little bearable, you know. And so I'm here to emphasize and appeal, make an appeal to you that uh, we do something to change her life. What Maureen is going through is a representation of just what so many other girls are going through in our country and yet they have no voice, they have no platform or space to just come and talk about their experiences. And so I just want to first of all congratulate and thank her for taking the courage to even come all the way from, you know, Nakuru County to come and share her journey with us. And so I believe God is going to use you and myself to make a difference, to change her life in one way or the other. Of course, what is urgent at the moment is medication, especially uh, knowing that she's supposed to be on uh, you know, HIV medication and she has not been on medication since last year, July. I mean, that in itself is just a risk, so to speak. And so the most important thing now is to make sure that she resumes uh, medication and of course the other thing is uh, her eye ne needs to be checked so that uh, we have a doctor's opinion and uh, treatment can begin she is going through a lot of pain and it's just unimaginable that she was even able to withstand all that pain and give or share her story from beginning to the end so the way I met Maureen is uh, there's a lady by the name Josephine Leshao who perhaps many of you know. And so it's through Josephine Leshao that I was able to meet Maureen. And Maureen has been able to share a lot, which more or less sounds like the journey that Josephine Leshao has walked. From, you know, HIV infection, from eye cancer, and all those kind of things. And so at this time, I just want her to come and help me put into perspective a few issues that Maureen has mentioned, which I think will be very helpful even as we plan and see ways through which we can be able to help her and make a difference. Uh, Josephine, kindly come and uh, join me. Maybe quickly, kama unweza kutueleza, how did you meet Maureen? Mulikutana wapi na ilikuwaji hadi ukapata Maureen? Nukasababu anaishi interior kabisa ya Kenya. Asante sana kwa kunikaribisha na shukuru Mungu kwa hii wakati. Mimi kuna daktari alinipigia simu kutoka interior kutoka rural area hata simjui jina na mimi atujuani hata dujai onana. Akanipigia simu akaniambia aliona story yangu nikiwa na eye cancer mm. na HIV. So anani request kuniuliza maswali akaniambia kuna msichana anaitwa Maureen anaishi Mauche na Kuru County sasa akanitumia picha yake nikaona vile niliona hiyo jicho nilifeel niliona ni kama ni mimi kwa sababu nili nili rewind hiyo convert kwa wakati wangu nika chukua jukumu langu kwa sababu nimepata namba nikaambia daktari sasa wacha nimtafute nikapigia Maureen simu kati nipigia Maureen simu akanipatia direction na ni mahali sijai yenda tangu nizaliwe mm -hmm. na ni huko interior kabisa unafika nakuru unaenda unaenda Igaton unaenda mpaka Mauche na huko ndani lakini nilifika kwao nikamkuta nikamkuta na watoto wake wawili nikaona hali vile iko mali wanaishi hata mimi nikaona 
hiyo ni familia yangu kwa sababu hiyo kiatu nimeai kuiva mm-hmm. so wakati niliona hivyo nikaona ni vizuri kuliko nione na ninyamaze huyu msichana kuna watoto watatu awasomi yeye mwenyewe akona HIV akona kansa amezi dawa hiyo ikanifinya kwa sababu pia mimi sina uwezo ningekuwa na uwezo ningemchukua ni mweke kwangu tuishi naye lakini sina uwezo sasa uwezo wangu nikapasa sauti ndio nikachukua jukumu wakati niliona kwao na yeye na watoto nikaamua sasa wacha ni tafute shared moment ndio kama Mungu wa mbinguni mwenye aliguza wenye aliguza wakanisaidia nikafika mahali nimefika kwa nini mimi ni, ni nyamaze na mwingine huko nje anaumia kwa sababu ile stage yenye Morina ako si stage nzuri macho yake saa hizi inanuka na alafu hana hiyo ufahamu wa kuiosha wa kuosha hiyo nyama ndani hakipita Morina ananuka na sio mwili ni jicho inanuka secondly Morina ako na stress ya njaa ana chakula hana mali pazuri pa kukaa yani ayuko stable in mind mm-hmm. kitu kingine Morina alikuwa anatumia dawa za HIV wakati alijua kuna HIV mtoto wake last born kuna HIV hizo challenges wakati alinielezea alafu ile kitu ilinitisha Morina aliwacha dawa na sio aliwacha kwa kutaka aliwacha kwa kushindwa ni nini alishindwa naye ana fear ya kutoka mauche mpaka hospitali atumie 140 kwenda 140 kurudi na mtu yote mwenye ananiona hii maisha tunatembea ni safari wakati uko na njaa kama umezi dawa yoyote unaumia what about ule mtu mwenye ako na njaa na anameza dawa i feel the pain kwa sababu mimi najua dawa za HIV kama hujashiba my friend hata inakuongeza vidonda kwa mwili kwa sababu hizi dawa kama umemeza na hujakula inakuchoma tumbo kizunguzungu unalala na unalala na uko na njaa iko na challenge zake Morin mali amefikia ameacha dawa kwa sababu hana uwezo wa kwenda kuchukua dawa na yeye anataka anataka dawa na anataka kupona at the same time Morin akona kansa na amekosa pesa kwenda kutibiwa amejaribu kadri ya uwezo wao yenye wanaweza ni kienyeji na kansa hairuhusu useme ni kansa uende kutumia kienyeji hakuna kienyeji inaponya kansa na kama iko sijui on my side mi najua kansa inatibiwa hospitali na hospitali kutibu kansa ni very expensive through my experience kama mtu angeindicate pesa chini ile ya kusema nilitumia hii na hii na hii for last 10 years on my journey hata uwezi piga hesabu utachokea njiani alafu pia hiyo visit ya hospitali ni very expensive transport consultation fee at the same time uko na HIV unameza dawa hauna hizo dawa haushibi hizo imekuwa ngumu hata serikali yetu ya Kenya ningeomba tu ningeomba tu kwa sababu huko town kuna kuna chances mingi mtu anaweza pata mtu am encourage ama amsaidie hata unga ya kikombe ya kunyuji uko reserve mambo ni tofauti ukimeza dawa kuna stigma kwa hivyo unataka umeze kwa siri hii siri una kitu ya kukula kwa hivyo hata kama kwa mama yako na we uprovide wa mama tulipewa neema wengine hawakupewa hiyo neema ya kukubaliana na watoto wao ama na hiyo challenge kwa nyumba kwa hivyo mtu wa HIV inafaa asubuhi apate kitu strong ya kukula ya kushika tumbo ameze dawa kama ni jioni ana meza apate kitu strong ya kukula ameze dawa Morin mali amefikia saa hizi hana dawa, hana chakula mpaka sasa amepata infection. Mwili yake yote ni vidonda. Na zile vidonda ni fresh zinaisha, zinakuja fresh zinaisha. Hata Morin ukimuona saa hizi uwezi taka hata akuje kwako. Kwa sababu hizo vidonda hata huna feel ataniambukiza. Kwa sababu ile maji maji ile unyevu nyevu inatoka kwa mwili utaifanya haji na utamfukuza. Mm. Nilienda mpaka kwao tukaongea vizuri na nikaambia Mungu unisaidie kwa sababu mimi umenisaidia Mungu nimepona. Umenisaidia Mungu mimi niko na sauti. Umenisaidia Mungu mimi niko na energy. Mm. Niki kwa hiyo energy yangu umenipea 2022. Huyu msichana akisaidika kitu cha kwanza apate matibabu, apate 
nini chakula akue na shelter mali anaweza kaa akae na watoto wake apate dawa za HIV ameze apate chakula apate dawa za kansa utukufu ni kwa Mungu right. na Josephine sio tu ya kwamba alichukua Morina akamleta kwetu she even went a step ahead akamwenroll kwa NHIF NHIF, NHIF program yeah. Ili mwenroll kwa sababu wakati nilifika kwao nikamuuliza kama ako na NHIF akasema ye hana. Kwa nini hauna? Sina pesa ya kukata NHIF. Nikavaa hiyo kiatu. Nikafiri. Nika sacrifice hata mimi kwa sababu hata nyinyi muli sacrifice kwa maisha yangu. Pia hata mimi nika sacrifice. So kwa sasa uh, Josephine ni nini ambacho kwa mtazamo wako uh, kinahitajika kufanywa kwa dharura? What is what is the urgent uh, thing that needs to be done immediately? Kwa dharura saa hizi ile kitu inahitajika saa hizi vile niko hapa. Maureen angeweza kuanza kupata matibabu immediately. Kenyata kwa sababu ameenda paka Tenwek, ameandikiwa barua wakati nilimkatia NHIF akarudi Tenwek, ameandikiwa barua official letter kutoka Tenwek aende Kenyata. Mm-hmm. Aanze matibabu Kenyata kwa sababu matibabu ya kanza uendi kama malaria utibiwe leo kesho urudi. So akienda akianza matibabu akionekana na daktari daktari amweke kwa hizo ma, ma visit za kukuja na and i hope hata daktari akiona morin atarakisha matibabu yake kwa sababu macho yeah. imeoza aende pia apimwe mambo na HIV ijulikana kama ataanza na, na stage e aanze kwa ni dawa zile za kwanza ama za pili right. kwa sababu mahali yako saa hizi hayuko vizuri kulingana na saa hizi So even as uh, we look forward to you coming on board I think ni muhimu kusema kwamba kama shared moments family uh, we will mobilize tutajaribu kujadiliana kuona vile ambavyo tunaweza pia kuwa wa msaada kwa maisha ya Morin especially for the initial stages ya kuhakikisha kwamba ameenda hospitali ameanza kupata matibabu aonekane na daktari ili tujue kutoka hapo ni nini na nini kinahitajika so we will make the initiative kuhakikisha kwamba all that process takes off and uh, tutakuwa tunawajulisha we will be updating you every other time on uh, any development na progress ambayo ita itatokea so at this point i just want to say thank you so much kwa ile support ambayo mmekuwa mkitupatia na wale wote ambao wamepitia through uh, shared moments i think you have all been witnesses of how gracious our audience has been and supportive and so we just want to say thank you so much for your continued support let's not tire 2022 is just getting started and we really thank god that you are part of this family so whenever we call on you kindly we ask that you may indeed uh, do whatever you can little as it may seem it's going to make a difference so we are going to pick up Maureen's story and Maureen's case to make sure that she sees a doctor immediately so that she can resume number one uh, with the antiretroviral drugs that she is supposed to be on and then also see a cancer specialist who will take her to Kenyatta Hospital so that that uh, process of uh, treatment can begin kama Josephine yuko hapa is a testimony that all those things ambazo Maureen yuko anapitia saa hizi she has gone through them and she is here as a testimony to say that God is able to heal and to see you through and God is going to use you to make sure that this happens so thank you so much kindly find the information in the comment section and also in the description kujua how you can be able to come on board and how you can be able to assist thank you so much that's all we've had time for